So I want to do a little video on this uh, little prepper project, if you want to call it that, solar generator I've been working on in the last couple weeks. This was started out to just be some alternative source of backup power and maybe take camping, what have you, but uh, just going to show you what I ended up with here. This Milwaukee pack out box was about as tight a quarters as you really want to stuff all this stuff into, but I have a 100 amp hour Renogy uh, solar panel here that'll, or 100 watt I should say, and uh, it will fold up and packs out in this nice little padded suitcase that, that it sent, was sent with. Um, I haven't had to go to full charge with this yet, just to kind of finish this up. So we'll, we're going to really test it out when we go camping here soon. Got a remote camp uh, with no power hookups or anything like that. So a lot of times we run a generator, but we don't have air conditioning or anything. So uh, we don't need a huge source of energy continually. So anyway, everything's in this here box, which is pretty easy to move. This handle extends makes it really nice to move around really easy to move around rolls on these dolly wheels a lot easier to move than my other gas generator um, but show you what's inside here so I have a hundred amp hour AGM battery and a, this right here is the 2000 uh, continuous 4,000 peak watt inverter and uh, solar charger, solar controller. This kind of just controls the amount of solar energy that the battery can take in, shuts it off uh, when it, before it reaches too much and keeps track of how much you take in. Right now it's doing the, there's a lot of numbers flashing on there that I don't know what they mean yet. I got to read the book up on that yet, but so anyway, everything's run to the outside. I got a couple uh, couple 110 outlets here. There's three on the inverter, but I just ran two of them to the outside so you can plug 110 right into those. Anything up to 2,000. Anything up to 2,000 watt, 4,000 peak, just get this something started. The coffee maker takes a, quite a bit of juice to get it going, but then not as much to keep it running once it's going. So, got the two 110 outlets there. I got a remote switch to turn the inverter on and off right there. And over here, I got a plug for the solar panels. I plugged in here so you don't have to open up the box and hook the cables up. And then I got two USB ports there. Those go to the inverter as well. And then I've got this so-called fuel gauge, they call it. You can get this information off the, the solar controller, how full the battery is and all that. But this is a real easy just to glance at and get an idea of how full your battery is without opening up the box. So, anyway, it's going to be a real interesting camping trip. See how this thing holds up. Then I'll order it on the coffee maker to run the, the uh, blender for making margaritas and charge all of our electronic equipment. Run a fan in the camper. It'll hook up to the... We're just going to plug the camper cord right into it. And then all the outlets in the camper will be 110 as well. So, uh, be able to run all the basics. And then if we ever lose power here, like we do fairly often, you can still run our coffee maker and stuff in the house, TV, whatever, without having to fire up the big gas generator. So, anyway, there it is. All fits in there. Pretty cool little box. Easy to get around. It is pretty heavy though. I bet you it's almost almost 100 pounds loaded up. That battery is really heavy. 
but rolls easy. I'll let you know how the camping trip goes.